Hello everyone, this is Tony. Welcome back to Trophy Food Experiences. Today I'm doing a review of a recent lunch I had at the Mallard Lounge at the Fairmount Chateau Whistler in Whistler, BC. Um, it is a really nice place. It's mostly a kind of a bar, um, a pretty, fairly iconic bar in Whistler. But I had lunch there, so um, stopped in and um, the ambiance, as you'll see in the next couple of pictures, is quite nice. So this is the bar area. I sat near the bar and it is a really nice place to sit because you can see all the action from the bar. It is kind of a bustling place and so that's kind of nice. Um, it seems like the bartenders have great rapport with people and staff are very friendly and the service standard is quite high. It's, um, you know, with all Fairmonts you expect a very high service level and this was definitely the case here staff were friendly but also very um, knowledgeable and efficient so I really liked it ambiance is great it's got this traditional um, very high-end uh, classic kind of uh, setting and very open space but I really enjoyed the atmosphere it is inside the Fairmont Chateau Whistler and I think it overlooks the golf course also, the Chateau Whistler golf course. So it's always got a lot of uh, movement and ha it's got a nice patio outside overlooking the golf course. So it's a really um, nice place to have lunch or have a snack um, and even maybe pre-dinner drinks or maybe even have a light dinner there. So I decided to have a full um, meal for my lunch and I just went straight of, without appetizers I went, went to the 10 ounce slow roasted prime rib and it's $48 it's um, fennel palm puree seasonal vegetables and old-fashioned juice it's a sizable piece of meat and I really liked what they did with it um, they had the um, asparagus they had some um, I guess it was like radishes and I appreciate the meat, um, the sides of it were cooked a little bit more and the middle of it was a little bit rare. It was medium rare. So it had, you had both like very um, kind of cooked meat and also a little bit more rare meat. So I like both of them. Um, really nice size and you'll just see it went very well with the wine that I chose. I um, had a little bit more wine left over after my main meal so I asked them if they could kind of make a cheese plate for me and they did this and this is a great cheese plate this they charged me $16 but I look at the selection here and it's really well put together you don't see underneath the um, ve the vegetables a bit there's some honey also there so they've got some honey some figs a couple of types of cheese um, um, some grapefruit um, some seeds so it had that variety and they also, I didn't take a picture of it, but they also had um, a bunch of um, bread for me also. So that was a selection of bread, including crackers and bread. Really well done. I really thought it was very nice for them to do that. And this was a little bit off the menu. They have a cheese and charcuterie plate, but I just wanted the cheese. And so they were able to do that for me. People are always interested what wine I order. Um, so I have another YouTube channel called Trophy Wine Hunter. That's my main channel where I go through wine reviews. And this is one of the wines I do review on the channel. I didn't finish it off, so I went and brought it back to my hotel room and finished it off and also did a review of the wine. But the wine I chose was the 1999 Chateau La Veu Revelon. I've had this wine before um, and why I chose it, it was $185, but I thought it was a good deal since it's a 99 saint Emilion wine. So it's got some age on it, 23 years. Not expensive for a 99 wine. And um, so I will leave, if you're more interested in this wine, I will um, refer you to my other YouTube channel. And I will have a review of this wine out shortly on that channel. Uh, but I think some people always ask me what I choose on the menu. They have wines by the class. I decided um, because I wanted a little bit better wine that I would go to their main menu. And uh, because I was not in a rush, I took the full bottle knowing that I could um, take it back with me what I didn't finish off. Hope you've enjoyed this review. Until next time, happy eating.